Hi guys, welcome back to Infinite Possibilities, the podcast where we explore the lives of amazing people, their choices, challenges, and opportunities. And today, we're back with part three with Tree. Hello. Hi Tree. Hello Karen. <laughs> welcome back for the third time this week. Okay, yes. <laughs> it's Friday now. <laughs> yeah, so we did Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, yeah. So equally spaced out. So today we're going to talk about Tree's industry experience. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Tree, I think um, I was... Um, wait, so when do we start? When did you um, first take your first job in marketing? Is that in your bachelor's? Yes. Uh, when I finished my bachelor's degree, one of the lecturers who invited me to join his company immediately wow. right after my graduation, just after my thesis defense, and then he invited me to join his company to work as a marketing assistant. Mm. That's the, my first job. Oh, yeah. and and then later you also did like customer service and stuff like that. So marketing, what did you enjoy about it, and what did you sort of find about it? Uh, yeah, I interested in data analysis. Mm. So my first job is related to design a questionnaire, mm. data collection, mm. data analysis, and then to provide some of the advice and the business solution. Mm. And that's one of the thing I like. And after that, I do some of the customer service. Mm. To be honest, customer service is not quite related to marketing yeah. a lot. But uh, based on what I learned from the data analysis, from the way I do interview and the questionnaire survey, I know how to interact with my customer mm. when they call, give me a call, or mm. when they come to my office to have some face-to-face -face talk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Mm. And then when did you, um, so at that time when you first did marketing, did you ever consider a career in marketing? Mm, what do you mean creator marketing? As in like, did you say like, hmm, this marketing is pretty good. I think in the future I still want to do marketing. Or did you think like, nah, marketing is not for me? To be honest, I like uh, branding marketing rather than sales marketing. Do oh. you, what is the difference? The difference yes. is branding marketing, it means that you know how to create a brand, to make people know about the personality of your brand. Yeah. You need to do some activity like advertisement yeah. or some activity that below the line and then above the line just like advertisement, advertising on TV or mm. maybe printing uh, paper, mm. like newspaper or something like that. And below the line just like some activity, some events, some function. Mm. And that's one of the things I like, but I don't like uh, sale marketing. <laughs> You know what, the difference is sales marketing, you need, they focus more on distribution mm. uh, and uh, how you provide some of the promotion and discount to your distributor. Mm. So that's a totally different. It's not quite interesting as the branding marketing. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess like the branding is like very strategical and then the sales is just like, more like kind of uh, everyday practical yes. price negotiation customer yeah. interaction direct sales yeah because if you work in the branding marketing they will provide you more space to imagine what oh. you need to do you can oh i can imagine uh, these teams yeah. and then i will select this person to be the character of the teams yeah. and then what i need to color these teams yeah. should be pink should be blue, should be green, yeah. and what is the story inside this? Many things you can imagine if you do the branding marketing. Yeah, that's so true. Like the scope of what you can change and mm. imagine and control mm. is like much bigger. And when you finish the branding marketing, you will feel that when the customer, they look at your yeah. TVC or look at your uh, billboard or look yeah. at the advertisement in the newspaper, what they feel. Oh. That's, that's one of the things very, very interesting. Yeah, that's so yeah. true. I feel like for marketing, you have to be like really good at like people's perceptions mm. and a little bit of like human psychology. Even. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. And then later you like, how did you also later transition into Kathy Life Insurance? Uh, to be honest, I changed to Kathy Life Insurance after my master's degree. Mm. Uh, after my master's degree, I found a new job. Mm. And then at that moment, I got an, uh, an offer from Kathy Life Insurance. They offered me the job like business planning specialist. Mm. And what does it mean? It means that I still need to analyze the data, mm. but it's not just related to marketing, it's related to how you develop the business plan mm. for the organization. The plan mm. like promotion, the plan like uh, how to launch a new product, mm. the plan like uh, what product that the customer need, and then we need to, based on that, to develop 
the product to meet the customer need. Mm. Yeah, something like that. It's more not tend to be branding. It's just yeah. like business planning. Oh, and did you have a preference for business planning or the sort of branding? If you had to, choose? I still prefer <laughs> uh, market branding, branding. Yeah. marketing branding, <laughs> because you will have more space to think, to to yeah. just like the artist. Yeah. You will know. Oh, I will do it like this, and maybe I will change the style like this, change that style. You will. You have more space to imagine to do something just like the artist, yeah. something like that. Oh. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. And so also at the Kathy Life Insurance, did you end up selling insurance at one point in time or never? I'm not the sales. Oh, I'm okay. not the guy who sell the uh, product to the yeah. customer, but I have to based on the data after analyze it, I need to propose a product that the customer needs oh. in the future. Okay, yeah. very cool. And how did you think to um, like apply there? Was it just like random? Like after your masters, you just apply everywhere, and then this um, yeah, company just, you? just look at the advertisement, and then to see whether I can do it or not based on the task. I yeah. list it out. I will consider whether I I match it or not, and yeah. then I will apply. It. Yeah. And Cool, and then we're going to also talk about your third role. So, what yeah. was it like being a researcher staff, and what was it like being a tutor? Uh, yeah, my third role, you can see, my third role, that's just also linked to my interest. My interest mm. is data analysis, Yeah. doing some uh, job uh, after the analysis, yeah. I need to write the report. So yeah. that's why for a um, research officer, yeah. I have to do the same thing. Yeah. I have to do data collection, data analysis, and write the report after yeah. the data analysis. I need to write a report to tell the project leader that Oh, this is the outcome after I do some analysis like this, and this is the outcome. And uh, you say it's just quite consistent. Yeah, so like it marketing, is. Marketing, and then... Uh, the, what was it? The um, business planning, yeah. and then the research it's officer. Like, uh, just in different contexts only. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you ever get sick of it? <laughs> Sounds like, wow, same, same, times three. <laughs> no, not really, because that's in different contexts. Okay. The first contact is related to marketing. Yeah. And the second time related to uh, insurance, and yeah. the third contact related to education. Oh. And so that's a different context, something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. And also, what was your experience as a tutor? Because that's kind of different. Yeah, as a tutor, I worked for UQ yeah. since 2018. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, as a tutor, that's a, one of the things I have to learn how to interact with my student, yeah. with my staff, um, not my staff, uh, my <laughs> boss, maybe, and my college. Yeah. Uh, I need to learn how to uh, deliver the knowledge mm. to my student because sometimes we only know that the student they, they I don't know whether what's in the level of my student. Yeah. So that's why you say I uh, will try start with very slowly. Yeah. And then if the student I know them well, I will increase the speed a little bit. Otherwise, I will slow it down. It depends. That's why some of the experience I learned from teaching and interacting with my uh, students. Oh, yeah. okay. Sounds interesting. Do you think teaching is something that you really want to do in the future or you maybe you prefer like working with, um, I don't know, like clients or working as like a staff member, so interactions with other staff or do you have a preference? I, I prefer to do research more than teaching. Yeah. Uh, one of the things is because I, I couldn't talk too much yeah. yeah, if I talk to my I will got a sore throat. Yeah. That's one of yeah. the things. That's one of the things. So physically, right? Yeah, that's yeah. the first thing. And the second thing is, you know, uh, I prefer to do analysis yeah. and then write a report and then someone read it. Yeah. And then I just report, oral report yeah. to tell them and that's it. Rather than I have to talk to my student three hours a day, nine yeah. hours a day, I just feel very, very tired. Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. I guess when you're writing a report, you can have all your thoughts yeah. in a very sort of organized or like collected way. Yeah. But teaching is like sometimes they don't get it. You're like, yeah. try another angle and try this and try yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So, Tree, if you could have anything you want, what would your dream job be? My dream job is uh, I would like to be a researcher. Mm. The researcher means I will come up with some of the idea to solve some problems. Yeah. The problem may be in academia or maybe in industry. Mm. And then based on that, I will design my project. Yeah. 
the project will ask what is the problem now, yeah. how I can solve the problem, yeah. and I will do some kind of data collection, yeah. data analysis. Yeah. And then after that, I will say, oh, the problem is here. Yeah. Maybe you need to change it or change that. That's in my, my, oh. uh, my dream job, I think. Yeah, mm. and so like not really any teaching, just solely research. Not really, maybe it's account for 30% is okay. Oh, 30% teaching, around 70% yeah. research. Yeah, something like that. Oh, that's very cool. And do you know what specific like field that you really want to do research in, in particular? Mm, it depends, but um, it cannot go out of the field of business and management, right? It mm. should be in business and management. Yeah. But business and management, you know, we have marketing, we yeah. have like uh, tourism, yeah. something like that. Business and then, information system. Yeah, so. and then we have uh, maybe uh, finance. Yeah, accounting, yeah, international accounting, business. Yeah. Just in that area, but maybe tend to be uh, consumer behavior, Ooh. information system management, Yeah. and then uh, traceability system, something yeah. like that, and social Ooh. media. Oh, it sounds yeah. very marketing-y. <laughs> yes, maybe yes. something like that. Yeah, because I, my, my experience tend to be more in uh, marketing. marketing. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. So Tree, just going to ask you a deep question. So yeah. what do you think the meaning of life is for you? <laughs> uh, to be honest, that's a, a question that many people may, may or may not have the answer. Yeah. To be honest, I at the moment, I don't have a very, very good answer for that. Yeah. But I can provide you some of the my own opinion only. Yes. Uh, the life here, I think, it should be balanced. Yes. Uh, what What the balance mean? For example, I come to office at nine, and then I will leave office at five, and then when I went home, I don't need to think about my my work again, and yeah. then I enjoy my own life at home or maybe somewhere outside office. Yeah. And I think that's, to me, that's it, the dream life, something like that, right? Ooh, yeah. yeah. This dream life is just a balance. It's always like simple, but it has everything that you need it to have. Mm, yeah, maybe. Not, not really. Maybe uh, we don't need a lot of resources, but yeah. we have the time and we have the resources enough for us to do what we want to do. Yeah. And Ooh. that's it. Yeah, that's good. So yeah. what is your perfect day in the life? You mean from Monday to Sunday? Um, oh. Yes, yeah. Okay, so yeah, if you were to go, um, what would be your perfect working day? So maybe like um, Monday to Friday, and then maybe what would your perfect weekend look like? So first do perfect work day. My perfect work day is to be that uh, there are not many threat in the work. Do you threats mean? in the work. As stress, in stress. 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 Yeah. Stress. <laughs> uh, what did the stress mean here? A, um, for example, I have enough time to complete my work. Yeah. That's one of the things <laughs> very important. That's a good one. Right? Yes, we, have, we should have enough time to do that. Uh, we have enough collaboration from our college, from our boss, from yeah. our manager. And then we have the collaboration with our customer, something like that. Yeah. Uh, for example, my customer and my students. Yeah. Uh, and then I mean that we have collaboration with the student. Yeah. The student they are happy with my, what I talk talk to them, what I toss them. Yeah. And that's that's good. That's one of the perfect day. If something that why I told you, uh, less stress, collaboration. Yeah. And then uh, um, not um, the environment that can create a uh, a friendly interaction yeah something like ah, that cool and then also just wondering do you um is there anything in particular you do like the first hour of the morning and then the last hour of night how do you sort of generally spend that time the last hour of my working day or the last hour of the day what do you mean uh, maybe just like day in general day in general yeah. the first hour of my day yeah. i always wake up and then do some physical exercise oh what kind of exercise yeah. do you do uh, just some physical thing like shred, yeah. push up, oh, blank, uh, and then uh, sit up, yeah. something like that. That's good. Uh, and then the last hour of my day, a, I watch some YouTube. But yeah. the YouTube, they can provide me some helpful talk. For yeah. example, they taught me some language. Yeah. But the language, it should be fun. 
Yeah. For example, I learned from the YouTube. Yeah. They taught me the culture in Hong Kong. Yeah. And then they taught me some of the dialect in Hong Kong. Yeah. And then oh, maybe maybe they can provide you some of the uh, the food. Oh. The Cantonese food, yeah, I like it. Or not yeah. only Cantonese food, maybe some of the Italian food yeah. or maybe uh, any kind of food. I mean, when you watch mm. that kind of movie or that not movie, that kind of uh, video, yeah. they will provide you something. Oh, it's interesting. Of like, there's something interesting. We can one day we will try this kind of food. One day we will learn about this kind of art, like drawing or yeah. maybe calligraphy. Uh, maybe uh, we will learn some of the things to enjoy the sculpture. Or yeah. maybe we will enjoy how to cook. Yeah. Or something that make us have some Happy. new thinking, new, new thinking, ideas, new and ideas. maybe something to look forward to in the future. Yeah, something like or maybe uh, the video they will show us. This is the new tourist site. Yeah. Something quite interesting here, and then let's just make us feel oh something new there, some some important landscape there, some yeah. some interesting landscape there, something like that. Or maybe I will learn something to teach us how to photographing yeah. or something like that. Oh, that's very cool. And so, if we were to talk about your perfect weekend, what would that look like? To be honest, now uh, because I'm an international student here, I I'm uh, single and alone here. So yeah. to me, the perfect weekend should be uh, I can go out to hang out with my friend for dinner, yeah. and then I will do some exercise with my friend. Yeah. I may be playing badminton or football, something like that. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's, that, really that's not what I'm. I'm imagine it maybe last long because yeah. if one day I got my family, my yeah. my perfect day may be different. Yeah. Oh, know? and what do you think your perfect day with your family would look like? Or maybe I will spend the morning to cook some of the breakfast for my wife and my children if I had. Yeah. And then after that, I will take them to do some uh, activity outdoor, yeah. uh, like go to the park or go somewhere that. That and maybe I will go to the grocery shopping with my wife, yeah. and after that we will go home to cook, to prepare lunch and dinner. And during that time, maybe I will do some gathering or maybe uh, photographing yeah. with my kids. Yeah. And then uh, also I have to do something for my mm. wife. Yeah. For example, if she asked me to help them this, to help them that, and then maybe two of us will photographing together, and yeah. maybe. Uh, learn how to write calligraphy together, or yeah. maybe to uh, to learn something new yeah. together, <laughs> like yoga, yeah. or maybe uh, some activity together. I'm not quite sure. It depends on my my in my future wife. I'm not quite yeah. sure. Yeah. So maybe. hello to Tree's future wife. <laughs> Tree is here now. Yeah. Find a way to contact him. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Well, this is the end of this episode. So yeah. let's say bye. Bye. Thank you, Karen. Bye. Thank you so much.